night. I'm like, this is one of the things is that I'm going to try to get to a point of doing like a more consistent like 7 to 9.30 or 7 to 10 kind of schedule. Um, and then I'll call it a night that way because I, I, I think I have been streaming too long most of the time like on just days like doing four, four to five hour streams like it's just too, it's too much. And I feel like you guys were mostly falling asleep by like hour three, so I'm just kind of like, you know what, let's just be honest. This is all what we want. I'm fine with it too. I'd rather have the consistency of four streams that are, you know, nice and fun. Rather than trying to think too much of them as being a little bit more on the brutal side. I'm just so happy to be, like, not bogged down by work soon anymore. There's, you know, when it comes to Kirby's Dream Land 2, there's, like, some actual legitimate bangers in that game. Man, now I want to play Kirby Air Ride. yet. Yeah, they need to get it, like, on that. You know, I feel like anybody that gets the perfect job on their first go, like, is such a rarity. So, don't feel, don't feel bad if you want to, like, start hunting for something else. Oh, that's really bad. That's, like, okay. Oh, okay, cool. I hope you get paid soon. There was, um, when I, when I worked the Party City job ages ago, um, this was before I, like, understood, like, banking and, like, direct deposit and stuff. Like, I, I was not a, like, versed in just, like, this kind of thing. I was very, um, I needed some help at that point. Uh, they gave us, like, this company, like, debit card. And they would just put the money on, on that card, and you just have to use that card in order to pay for everything. Like, it worked, but, like, it was gross. I don't recommend that. Like, if you can, make sure you set up... Like, a pro tip to anybody that is, like, getting into the world of work, set up your direct deposit ASAP.
Yeah, I didn't get a direct deposit until like... You started college when you were 16? Smart kid alert. Why does that look like something over there? Those are supposed to be designs. Uh oh. That cannot be a friend, apparently. <laughs> you leave college at six. Wait, so you you got your 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 you get your bachelor's at sixteen? Dang. I didn't think this through. I think I'm going to take chili. Extra, extra. The British have determined that middle school is very mid. Did I get the thing here? I don't know how to tell. I was still a junior in high school at 17. That's all right. For all the times that I thought to myself that, like, I just want to quit college. Burnout's a real thing. Um, were you here for the... The, the college discussion with, like, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and so all that. I was telling them that, like, there, there was someone I was talking to that, like, I just... I, saw, I, I told people that, like, when it comes to school, um... I just cared enough. Hey, we finished the, the, uh, the puzzle. The first rival. And as such, like, I was pretty much like a C student in college. I just I cared enough and... Oh, we did get the bus, please. Cool. Um, but I just only cared enough to get, you know, my degree. Like, I, I just didn't see the need... For, number one, I didn't see the need for A's in literally everything for a degree. Like, unless you're a doctor or something, I just don't, like, think they care. I don't think anybody cares. Um... But, like, someone was, like, kind of, like, grilling me for it. Like, why didn't you care? Why didn't you try to always get A's? Like, it just drives me insane. I'm like, well, you know, like, not everybody gets A's and stuff in their classes. I mean, look at, you know, dropout losers like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates who, you know, didn't finish their career and are, you know, well, well, Steve Jobs apparently is, is, or Steve Jobs is gone, but Bill Gates is still very much alive and very much a billionaire. So... And Steve Jobs had plenty of money at the end, so. Yeah, Einstein was a dropout, too. You're right.
Uh, I should have grabbed that power up. What was I thinking? I think the only strugglesome thing that is hard to start in life um, at a specific age is probably a sport. It's like the only thing, because that just requires your body to be like in shape and such. Like, you know, obviously professional, professional, you know, like MLB, NBA, that kind of thing. Like, it's really hard to, to join the NBA at 40 and 50. But like everything else in the world, I feel like if you could hop into that kind of stuff at any given age, it's, it's, it'd be perfectly fine. Just as long as you have the drive and will to do it. Five subs and I become a pro athlete. I think my pro athlete days have passed me by. up there is just having time. Well, there's a lot of questions these days, too, that just say, like, I don't know, is like, the college degree even, like, worthwhile? Like, mine kind of is because it has a specific, like, it fits into my specific requirements. I have a, deg a bachelor's degree in performance, like, tubal performance. That basically says that I am a qualified musician with the ability to play professionally in most to any gig that comes up. So I can basically use my piece of paper and my knowledge that I acquired and be like, okay. But honestly, I don't even show that ever. Like, I say that I have it, but like, I, I never just like have to pull my degree out and be like, here it is. Here's my proof. And, like, most, a lot of the people that I play with in, like, pit gigs and stuff, like, I just, they're, like, just, you know, people that are doing it for fun. You know, are, like, the last drummer I played with in a pit, like, um, I forget what his, his, uh, his actual, like, profession was, but, like, it was something in, uh, I want to say, like, criminal justice system or something like that. Completely not even, like, I needed this. Crap. That's, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Brain went poo-poo-doo-doo there. No, it wasn't a switch that, like, he just was doing the pit for fun. Like, he still retained his job that he wanted to, you know and criminal justice and stuff, but like... I'm just saying that like, my point is is that like, he didn't even have a degree in music and that still, he got the same qualified job that I got. And I've learned over the years that it's all, like, I hate, I hate saying it, and I hate, like, because I'm really still super bad at it, but it's all about networking stuff. Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Like, that's what they really want you to, like, kind of focus on. And they don't teach you that in school. And as weird as it is, I feel like it's kind of frowned upon. We're going to have, this is going to be our first redo level, because, like, I goofed that big.
I'm goofing this huge. It's true, networking didn't really d exist that much. But it's like extraordinarily apparent here in, in, in um, Illinois specifically. Um, versus like, if you look at like how to get a job in New York versus like how to get a job in uh, Illinois, someone was talking about that and like, I was kind of like dumbfounded about like the process. In Illinois, you do not have to go, like as long as you just like know people, like you can get a job. In New York, they have to post the job publicly to everybody. They don't have to do that here. So like, in a competitive sense, New York is gonna have much more competition than, than Illinois will. Because like, all the jobs are just being like, shown. I have a business card. I like my business. My business card's cool. I like my business card. I designed it, actually. No, 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 no. Was it? Oh, we're supposed to do that. Okay. bridge now the friend bridge it is yeah it's rough when there's so many other people applying for a job that's like auditioning. Auditioning is a rough process. It's a terrifying process. Oop. I think we're gonna miss the switch. I think that's like what we got killed on here. I enjoy that we're having these deep conversations during Kirby. That's like, I feel like this is how this always happens, is that Kirby's like the perfect game to just have deep conversation. What are you sorry for? Can I ask if he tastes like <laughs> if he tastes like bubble gum again? No, that, that's okay. I didn't even know you asked that the first time. Hi. Oh, okay. So we did do that level fully. All right, cool. I'm actually really looking forward to the next year. Like, I'm really ready to close out this year. Um, but like next year, I feel like we're gonna really kill it. Even though everything seems to be coming out in 2025. What games are like scheduled to be coming out for 2024? Twenty-four ends. 
Oh, yeah! Oh, that's a big reason to grab a PS5, isn't it? That's like a super seller for PS5. Holy crap. I also need to play Crisis Core. I keep telling myself that I'm going to sit down and play that one day, and then I never do. All right, Scarver Kirby. Thanks for dropping by. You have a wonderful night. Remake is worth it. Uh, part of me wants to play the original first. I know that's like a dumb probably idea, but like, I don't know. I always really wanted to play that game. And I'm curious, what what is your honest opinion of Dirge of Cerberus? Is that game worth its time or is that like, not great? Bluster Ninja. trying to do here. Okay, this game made it way more confusing than it needed to be. Crisis Core plays more um, like Kingdom Hearts, doesn't it? Or is it um, more uh, turn-based RPG? I can't remember. I've, I've like seen like maybe one video of Crisis Core in my life, and that's like it. I just know that it's a, a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Restricted Kingdom Hearts? Okay. I need to finish Dream Drop Distance. I'm like super bumbling on that. That game and Final Fantasy 4, I need to like get back into. I just have not been in the mood to like finish those games. Final Fantasy 4, I'm like three quarters of the way through that game, and Birth by Sleep, I think like I got through the first and second levels, or second worlds, and then I stopped. Admittedly, I do not care that much about Dream Drop Distance, but it's okay game. I want to finish it though. I don't know if I want that cheat yet. Like, I, I, I do and I don't, but I do and I don't, but I do and I don't. But I do, but I don't, but I do, but I don't, but I do, but I don't.
like I'm not having problems with the game specifically, like as far as it being too hard or anything. Enjoy your drugs, Dolly. Uh, my problem is, is just I just haven't been in the mood to play it. Like my my focus right now is Animal Crossing and Phoenix Wright. It's like what I'm really interested in playing. Like off time. I kind of wish there was more to the winter update for Phasmophobia, not gonna lie. Cause I kind of want to play a little bit more. Oh, okay. I did not... I thought you just, like, wanted to just do something with that. I didn't realize that that was also, like, a thing. I feel like I'm missing something in this area. Oh, we should probably look at that then. Oh, sorry, friends. Also, another excited idea that I think I'm like really looking forward to um, is uh, I'm really excited to rename the Carl101 Bots channel. I think I'm going to honestly change it to the Carl101 Show. I think it's going to become a its channel in that regard. I don't have a lot of, like, I just, I just think it'll be better received, I think, if I just do that. I also fixed an audio bug with ghosts starting a hunt, which makes made them mute for the first few seconds they started, making it harder to get away when it started a hunt. Duplex Dream. This is like the most chill Kirby game I, like I've played in a long time, or this is just the most chill game I've played in forever. Evan, I I I feel like you're hiding. But just understand, I appreciate you as a person, and this was a really good idea. I have, like, this big shopping, or this just big list of stuff. I don't know if it's, like, necessarily a shopping list or something. Um, of just things I want to do. Like, I, I need new artworks and stuff. And I just want to clean up stuff. Cause it's just been it's just been needed to be cleaned up. So a lot of times when we died, when we thought it was started a haunt, was actually like one to two seconds after it actually started the haunt. I hate this song. This is like the one song I hate from. Oh, like I I'm I'm an anti Great Cave offensive person. Like I just didn't think that mode was like all hyped up as everybody makes it out to be. Like, I know everybody really loves it, but I'm just kind of like, ugh. So a lot of times, uh, when I, uh, start the hunt, it's actually like when it was accepted, it actually started the hunt. Um, oh, you're talking about, like, when it makes that noise or whatever? Like, we have to witness it, like, being spawned in or something like that? We should be able to, like, screw around with that in, um, like, 
non lose, you know, items mode or whatever. Now that we got the uh, the the trophy and the uh, the badge. You know, I, I, I do gotta kinda like throw like I don't know if this is a complaint or a suggestion or just both. Um Whose idea was it to only limit two things to our, our cards on Phasmophobia? Like that shows like all the achievements that we've done. Why did, wouldn't you just be able to like put everything on there? Oh. I don't think that's how that was actually supposed to work, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we got oh, how did we miss this? We get we do have to help speed get that those. That might be a tomorrow thing then. Might not be a bad idea actually to save that for like tomorrow, depending on what he's doing, if he's busy or not. Um if it's okay with you, like I I, I don't mean to schedule things like during a stream, but like I feel like uh we we need to finish our project tomorrow I, I feel like that'll be the best time for me to do it because I'll be busy all day Saturday I could possibly do it on Sunday but I think I'll probably have other plans on Sunday um, oh, I really want a VR for that but that's also super expensive oh, I really want to play Half-Life Alex as well like that's a big thing I just want like now that I've played through all of um that's also another game I've just like been, I started playing and then I didn't like finish playing. I'm at Ravenholm of all places in Half-Life 2. And like, that's like the coolest place in the game. And like, I just haven't played since. Uh, tomorrow if possible, like after you probably get done with work. Um, whenever, um, honestly, whenever tomorrow night. I'm free all day tomorrow. I'm probably gonna spend most of my day working on like projects and stuff. Oh, I don't know if I. Ooh. Okay. Um. I guess I'm just gonna take that. Oh, did I just ruin this festival? Oh, poop. Oh, well, that was lame. It depends. An axe. What is an axe and ale type pub? Elaborate. Pub with. A oh, okay. That's a that's a hyper hexagons thing that we need to do. Axe throwing. I also have one like, I think five or ten minutes. There's like a bunch in, in Chicago, I'm pretty sure. Those are like a super easy like pop up thing to do. It's like the same thing with um, escape rooms. They just kind of like popped up randomly. That's another thing. Doing an escape room. I feel like TFP would be the most on board with doing that. I'm actually surprised, like, those haven't been, like, kind of, like, shut down, because I feel like axe throwing is dangerous. Even if they teach you really good to not hurt yourself, I just, I don't know. It's fine. Uh. Hyper hex guns make a cake with. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be totally down with that. There's, um, 
in in the uh, in, in the Chicago and Wisconsin area, there's been um, there's these stores that have popped up um, over the past few years. They're called Woodman's, and um, that would be the perfect store for the four of us to go into to grab cake supplies. Because, like, they are, and I kid you not, enormous. Costco's got nothing on this place, okay? There is, like, four aisle, like four aisles that are just dedicated to cereal. That's how big this place is. So, we are going to make a cake. But we are not going to do it by the book. Because then it'll become hazy. Thirty seconds on the dot. <laughs> Ooh. You can change the power up. Interesting. Then at the end, we pull out another cake and, like, here's our actual attempt. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in yet. The cake has to be... Okay, so the only exception to that is that I'm going... I'll have to buy a hexagonal cake pan. I guess we could, I guess, cut the shape. Oh, you could switch. I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. I actually really like this. This is a cool mode. Lime Green, you're correct. This game is a jam. I'm not missing things. Okay, good. 
What if we all took turns trying to make our own cakes and made a little competition out of it? Oh, God. And Speed says I'm the one that makes everything into a competition. <laughs> Is it boss time? I think it's boss time. Interestingly, oddly, <laughs> interesting topic that's caught your attention. Tom's secretly a cake boss. You just don't know it. Okay. Guess it's time to fight Meta Knight. I don't mind baking myself, I just, yeah, definitely not enough time. I beat him. I almost lost that fight. Oh no, it's it's Kirby's brother. Was the lore behind Meta Knight ever just like explained? Even in Stroh's like Kirby right back at you. Or is it still just a mystery? He's a Kirby. Okay. Yeah, this is rude. Onward! Dream Friend Meta Knight. You can now call in Dream Friend Meta Knight. Head to the Dream Palace. New Dream Friends added. Magalore, Terranza, and Susie.
That's enough of the main story. Let's take a look at other stuff that we've unlocked finally. Now that we've played a decent amount of this game. Watch movies again! Alright. Nothing like theater mode, huh? There's three other things that need to be unlocked here. Is this, like... Basically the cutting game from Pokemon Stadium. Chop your tree as much as you can before time runs out. Swing the joke. You can also play using buttons. Okay, cool. Ow. I'm getting wrecked. I got wrecked. Why well, didn't it not last place? My house sucks. <laughs> no, we're gonna do better at that. Right. Look at fourth place there. Eleven fifty. Garbage. We were so close. I could get a perfect on that. Hyper hexagon. Oh, let, me, let me do this one more time. Lime green. I promise I'll read that. I don't, oh, come on. Start over. Hyper Hexagon's Hello Neighbor Challenge. One Hexagon is looking for the others who are hiding. If one hider manages to not get found, then the Seeker must play Hello Neighbor. Isn't there a Secret Neighbor? Isn't that like the multiplayer variant of that game? Oh, come on. One more time. Welcome back, Dolly. Oh, so close. If I didn't goof, you have to be absolutely perfect with that, huh?
Yeah! How did yellow get 5,000? I guess he had two and a half meters left. He wasn't that far out. Random question, but how long did you guys have to wait for your wisdom tooth extraction? Mine had to be a while because they had to do a special drilling for it. Just because it was... I wouldn't have recommended... Had I known that they would have been like... We don't need to do that. I would have been like, okay, let's just pull the other tooth. I would have taken out five teeth then. Okay, you cannot use the arrows. The deep end. What did I, oh, did I not see one? Okay. Dang, it's so fast. But as soon as I got like to the, the proper thing, it was like 10 minutes and they were out. This is like on the same realm as uh, the curb or the, uh, yeah, the Pokemon Stadium game. The Chansey's Egg game or whatever. Oh, um, it depends. It depends on how much you were willing to pay for it too. Cause like, you could do like a rush emergency job kind of thing and like they'll see you like day of, but you're paying like an arm and like more. If it's like a non-emergency thing and like you can just like, if there's no pain and you can handle it, then you know, they could take like a little bit more time. It all depends on how booked the schedule is for the dentist you go and see. My goodness, this is really difficult. It's so fast. Ah. Oh yeah, that's another thing too, is I didn't do full knockout. I just... They numbed and they did it while I was awake. Oh my god, come on. Oh, I'm too fast at this. Oh, you can use the D pad. Those back and forth, the immediate back and forth are hard. I've done a full KO once. Um, non dental related, though. Uh, it's, it's, you just kind of, like, are disoriented when, like, you wake up. Because you're like, wait, what just happened? This is very difficult. And it's also just in part because I'm trying to get a perfect. Come on, I hit that. I switched that. It's just so much to process. There's just so much going on.
Hiss and boo. Oh, I goofed that one up myself. God, it's just too fast. I didn't even win. see it. The thing that sucks about this game is that, like, Everything. It everything sucks about this game. <laughs> I'd be so much better if I could like go at my own pace. Cause like some of these sections I could just rip through from the speed of mashing. But some of these sections other sections like I just need to like be a little bit slower with. Gosh darn it. in my path and that's the first one I hit. This is just it's just too fast. Alright, one more time. Okay, one more time. difficult. Someday I'll, I will get a perfect on that. But today is not that day. There's still three other games to play. We still also have Star Slam Heroes, but that's for another day. We're 23% of the way through this game. I'd like to think that we got some good progress today. Don't you guys think so? I think so. But with that, 